Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Monday, huh? Uh, the beginning of a new week. It's interesting. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting week for Bitcoin, in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, nothing substantial has happened, right? Uh, so we are putting in this uh, wave, B wave here, as I am proposing here, okay, and it's it's, it's stalling for time, yes, yeah? it's going sideways here. I think that we might have, uh, it's not impossible to have another wave going up here, but when we, we analyze it at one hour, uh, I see that I see a pattern that is going down, okay? Here you have the TD sequential resistance as well as here. So we have two strong resistance here. I don't know, you can, uh, let me zoom in. So then you can see it, what I'm talking about. Those lines here, this red line here is at uh, uh, 6438. Four and this line here is at the, uh, 6,000, 6,100, okay? 6,100. So if you draw a box here, you know for certainty that you have a strong resistance here. You have two lines and you have a line of confluence here, okay? This is what we have, you see? It's forming here. And we have this blue line here that I'm proposing. It, it has happened, it has act, sorry, as a support for this whole movement here okay so it's another trend line here it is acting as support i'm sorry i said resistance sorry as support just this structure here is gonna act, it's gonna offer support okay it's I, I say resistance because i imagine that when it's going down it's a resistance but actually it's a support yeah it's just a matter of perspective it's if it's going up it's a resistance because you are trying to go up but if you're trying to go down it's out it's as well it's as well as resistance uh but a resistance should go down okay sorry <laughs> uh so I have this box here that if I, if i show you guys here if you can see those are the prices right six four hundred and six one hundred okay we have this box here nice um the weekly chart I I posted yesterday that we have a, a tentative here cross at the 21 EMA and the 55 EMA. This uh, let me show you guys. The blue one is 21. Okay. Oh yeah. 21 and the 50, 50, 50 EMA. Let me change it. I use the 55. Uh, Oh, now you see that uh, <laughs> not that close. Yes. So what I'm suggesting here that is a uh, is gonna touch is in the in like two three weeks. Okay. Maybe perhaps more uh, like three weeks here. If we continue going down like this, this is the weekly chart. Okay. We have this cross. It's not it, it's not about to happen, but I would pay attention as well as this failure at the MACD to cross but you see that it's crossing you see that the red line here if we close uh, you see that the red line is about to cross it's forming a movement going down here okay so um, what is really important is that we is that we be aware of this cross and that those those EMAs is gonna act as a huge resistance if we try to go uh, up. Okay, it's gonna be the level of 7200. Okay, then this is gonna be a huge resistance, 55 EMA resistance. Okay. Okay, this is one hour. This has been my setup for the weekend and for the for the whole weekend. I could take some profit. Yeah, because I was suggesting this area here as 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 a region to uh, short, then then it goes like up like this, okay? Then we had this resist this resistance here, and since since then uh, it's going down, okay? This is the resistance, 
and I, I, I led her until this point here and then I had my stop loss here remember guys but now I moved my stop loss here of course because if it breaks this this line it's this setup is not working anymore but as long as I hit this resistance here and I short my, my hugest position was here then I start I start taking I take some of my profit here then it went up I add more to my position then I I sold when I saw this going down here I sold like here I didn't catch the bottom I sold like here okay why because this is what I do okay I, I I'm not I saw you see this resistance here I saw this resistance here then I I said okay I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna uh, close my position then it went up again I am shorting now again okay but my short is is I'm shorting with this stop loss here guys so considering the profit that I I took here it was not a lot like two percent but so it's okay I'm gonna wait here okay it is this is way less than two percent okay it's a short I am in a really good spot now you see the you have the green line here as well this is the the support okay this the, the if you let me zoom this thing in you see the TD sequential here the, the TD sequential is showing us this resist this support here so I can put my my stop loss here as well if you want if you want to be really if you want to be really cautious I would put a bit higher so yes because bots and people if all the people are targeting this support so you put a little, a little bit high a little bit higher sorry okay this would be my stop loss and then we'll start adding to your short i so as i have presented i think that what we have is that we are going down okay to finish that that wave c so we have a one this is first wave two then it's of course going sideways this would be our first wave second wave inside of the the first wave actually it can be right this is one yes this is two so it's going sideways we have a double bottom here okay our, actually a double top sorry uh, and then we're going down that's my that that's the movement that I'm looking at I, uh, I think it's this this line here is acting as a resistance we have the line of the TD sequential uh, so it's forming a triangle you can see but so we don't have a lot of time until we break either up or down but where do you think we are going okay Elliott wave wise I don't think we can break this resistance here that I'm showing as a resistance this resistance here I don't know if we br if we break this price here this is six nine hundred okay Th this is where I we let this is where Bitcoin landed when it was shorting okay when it got what it, when I was shorting it was going up this was the B wave what I'm calling B wave okay guys the resistance here okay so if it breaks this resistance here then this discount is uh, is invalidated okay we can't we just can't uh, ignore because this is this we would have a new pivot high would we have a new a new price here then we would need to reevaluate our account and things like that if you are a sh <laughs> I see this is a this is a, a huge bear uh, bear flag if you want okay you can see the pole here and this is the flag so I don't think we are going up but it might be said that this is forming a triangle and then you have this as a target here if you if you measure it I don't like this idea I want I want to give you guys this because yes we might have some kind of triangle here then we had this you see the triangle was here going up let me draw it okay something like this okay do you see the triangle here this is the triangle then you measure this part here and it's more or less like this but yes it's a then you would have a, a smaller fractal of the same structure see this structure here the, the smaller fractal going up 
But if it happens, then it would invalidate my count. Okay. I, I, I honestly, I see this fractal, but I don't think it's gonna be so relevant. But I'm taking into consideration that yes, it's repeating itself. So this is the last one, or are we gonna have a, a, another leg up and then going down? If we have another leg, leg up, you see that you have this resistance as well. Okay, this dotted line here is acting as a resistance. So I have multiple levels of analysis and multiple levels of confirmation. Okay, this is an old line here for me. So as I have everything pointing to me that this level here is gonna be hard to break, I am, I am using this as my stop loss, you see? Because if you, if you see that the, the, this resistance is, this trend line here is helping me to, to have confidence about this stop loss here, okay? Um, so th then I'm, I'm shorting and waiting for it. Uh, I'm not saying that, this is, what I'm trying to say is explain you guys how, we, how TA works, okay? You have multiple lines of uh, analysis and you put them together and then you wait. You wait until you have a confirmation, until you have this. You have different, uh, you have the geometry helping you, you have the, this trend line, you have uh, the formation, the pattern that you see here, the, the, the bear flag, as I'm proposing, you have Elliott wave analysis. So you put everything together and then you see, okay, it's more likely to go down. Again, it's about probabilities, not about certainties. We are not searching about anything here. And you might have, you might arc that, yes, it's, it's better if you flip a coin and then you, you act accordingly. Yeah. So, perhaps, yes, some movement. On the average, you, you will have, a, if you play enough, you have a 50-50%. Yes, we are trying to be, be better than chance here. That's it. Applying some methods apply some frameworks of uh, of how to analyze that's it okay guys so i hope that we are gonna nail this setup at least i, I had some profit here and uh, that's it okay if you guys enjoy my content if you guys enjoy what i'm doing here please leave me a comment follow me on social media like and subscribe and go set it <laughs> I love that idea. I love. Go set it, guys. If you don't know what it is, uh, check my my description. I'm I'm leaving a, a video to tell you guys to let's explain a little bit about it. And of course, you can always watch my previous video because one of them I talk about go set it. So go set it, guys. <laughs> Cheers.